What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Now if you've seen some of my previous videos, I've been using this caliper that I bought off Amazon. I think I paid like 9 or 10 bucks for it. It's actually all plastic. It works okay, um, but it's not. doesn't really seem like it's the most accurate one that I've ever used. Now a brand called Hardell actually sent me their all new caliper. It's going to be a digital caliper model LF01. And what's cool about this thing is it's actually a all stainless steel construction. Actually, it has like some decent heft to it, which is pretty cool. And it runs off battery, just like the other one, of course. And it's actually a pretty cool little um, caliper. So if we turn it on here, it's got a nice little thumb screw. I can make some nice little adjustments. And what I like about it right out of the box, so if you look at it from this direction here, you can see that the uh, jaws here are all the way closed. There's no real gap in there. Whereas my older plastic ones, what always bugged me about this one was that you can always see a bit of a gap. They'll close right here, but there's a bit of an opening here. So I never really liked that. I know that kind of didn't really affect the accuracy that much, but never really was my, um, one of the things that kind of always bugged me about this little caliper which is the jaws didn't really seem to close all the way. And this thing, it seems really light, kind of flimsy. So anyways, the Hardell one seems really nice. Got a nice little conversion table on the back. It seems very accurate so far. So let's take a Makita impact driver. This is my made in Japan one. And let's compare the measurements here. Now they should be you know, somewhat similar, if not both very, very accurate. So let's see what we can find out here. I'm going to zero this one out. We're going to be both on inches on both of these. So let's see what they give me here. This is my Made in Japan Makita Impact Driver XGT. So I'm going from front to back here. We're going to be at 4.76 inches. Uh, this is going to be the cheaper Amazon one. Let's see what the Hardell one gives me. What's cool is this one actually goes to the thousandths of inches. So I can get an even more accurate measurement here. So let's find out. All right, so we are at 4.763. So both are basically dead on at the same um, accuracy here, 4.76, but I'm getting also that three um, in here as well too. So that's really cool to see, a little bit more accuracy there. And I like how this one is constructed, a lot better construction here, a lot more sturdiness, sturdiness to it. Um, definitely got some more heft to it as well. Not only that, but in the box here, we also have um, a ruler come with inches and millimeters here, which is really cool. So that's always nice to have um, in case you're doing some other measurements as well. Um, really cool to have that in the box. Also get two batteries, which is really cool to have. And I do like this hard case. Um, now I'm not sure what the W or the M stands for here, whatever that means. I'm not exactly sure there. Um, but it is a nice hard case. It does come with a little mini Phillips screwdriver here for making minor adjustments. Uh, my only real complaint about this is, of course, when you're looking at something like this, a measurement tool, you're looking for a lot of accuracy. Um, what kind of bugs me here is this little spot here is going to be slightly off. If you can see that just a little bit, the bottom here is a little more that way, and the top here is a little more to the right. So kind of the only thing that bugs me there, but not really that big of a deal. It doesn't really affect the accuracy of the measurements there, so not a huge deal. But I'm a really big fan of this. It's actually pretty cool, very solid construction here. Definitely feels really heavy duty. Definitely a big fan of this so far. So guys, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And uh, thanks again for Hardell for sponsoring this video. And all right, guys, take care. Have a great day. Stay safe out there.